Why is nobody talking about the fact that flexing your foot does not protect your knee? What? Every yoga teacher I've ever had has always said flex your foot to protect your knee. We often hear this cue in poses like figure four chair pose, double pigeon, or the front leg in pigeon pose. But this is one of those yoga cues that doesn't have a lot of basis in anatomy. If we look at the muscles that dorsiflex the foot, you'll notice that none of those muscles cross the knee joint. And if none of the muscles that flex the foot cross the knee joint, wow, does flexing the foot protect the knee? It doesn't. So do we even really need this cue? Flexing the foot is absolutely awesome for engaging the lower leg, having awareness of what muscles are turned on and what they're doing, and it's also really good for stabilizing the ankle. If I don't flex my foot, I can sickle the ankle like this. And over an extended period of time, sickling the ankle could make the ligaments on the outer ankle lax and unstable. So for this reason, flexing the foot in a position like this is great for ankle stability and awareness, but doesn't do so much for the knee. If you want to learn more about how to practice yoga in a way that empowers you to know how your body works, comment the word no BS below and I will send you the link to my no bullshit yoga pose library that picks apart over 90 yoga poses, tells you what you do need to do and what you really don't need to worry about for anatomical reasons.